Best Smartwatch 2020 T3's Guide to the Best Intelligent Timepieces. These are the very best smartwatches money can buy. From the stylish Apple Watch Series 5. Through to the powerhouse Samsung Galaxy Watch. To everything Moto 360. And on to the incredibly desirable Tag Heuer Connected. But there can only be one best smartwatch. And the best smartwatch in the world right now is the Apple Watch Series 5. Of all the wearables available in 2020, the Apple Watch has the most developed platform. It's also the most attractive. And, arguably, more technologically advanced than its competitors. So there you have it. We're recommending the Apple Watch Series 5 as the best smartwatch available to buy right now. But, there are of course alternatives because if you have an Android device, the Apple Watch won't cut it. Luckily for you dear reader, we've also got a selection of brilliant alternatives for those who don't have an iPhone. There's no doubt Apple is king when it comes to smartwatches. But how has it achieved such meteoric success? Let's take a look. First off, it's the only smartwatch which generates a ton of interest. And not just from tech addicts, but from the general public. That interest hasn't exactly helped Apple's competitors. But it has helped Apple's smartwatch survive six generations. Next is the big focus on health and fitness. The Apple Watch can monitor your heart rhythm and suggest you see a doctor if it detects something irregular. It can call the emergency services you've fallen over. And it will keep you healthy by tracking your run. These potentially life-saving features are a major reason people are ditching the traditional watches for an Apple Watch. Finally, the design is almost perfect. The two size options are fit a majority of wrists. And they're also incredibly comfortable. It's the only device which has straddled the line between tech and fashion. It's simply the best-looking smartwatch available. Every generation has seen minor improvements that have gone a long way to perfect the watch. The Series 2 added waterproofing and adding GPS. And the Series 3 improved on that by adding cellular. So it can use data without your iPhone present. But again, remaining loyal to the original design, the Series 4 improved the design with a stunning new screen which stretches to the edges of the device. The Series 5 has kept the excellent design of the Series 4, and added more customization options, including a desirable titanium option, and an always-on display. Put simply, the Apple Watch Series 5 impresses us greatly. The design is well-considered and sleeker. The screen, in terms of PPI and color depth, is perfect and the number of third-party apps and accessories is unrivaled. That last point is important, because if you're buying a personal device such as a watch, you actually want it to be unique. It does have a few negative points. The UI is fiddly, although greatly improved with WatchOS 6, especially compared to more simple rivals such as Android Wear. Of course, it's iOS only. So if you have an Android phone, you're going to want to continue reading this guide. The Apple Watch Series 5 sits at the top end when it comes to cost. With prices ranging from £399 per $399 to £1,399 per $1,399. That makes it slightly more exclusive. If you prefer Android phones to the iPhone, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 is a very worthy competitor. This is the best smartwatch if you're an Android user. With a sleek design and powerful hardware, let's start with the circular screen, which is certainly on par with the Apple Watch. So too is the gorgeous, streamlined design. It comes packing some neat abilities as well, such as blood pressure monitoring, the ability to take ECG readings and water resistance. A collection of new, information-filled watch faces give it a modern edge. And while it lacks quality third-party apps we think you'll find the built-in apps sufficient. Overall, it's a very compelling package, and one we would definitely recommend. If you're not interested in the sleek, compact design of the Galaxy Watch Active, then the Galaxy Watch is probably more up your street. Its availability in two sizes will definitely help it appeal to more people. And it also has a very good battery life, we're talking between three and six days. Depending on the model, it's more attractive than previous incarnations and comes packing some neat new fitness tracking abilities. It's the innovative rotating bezel that is the star here. Though, as it is without doubt the best way to control a smartwatch. 
the Galaxy Watch works with most Android smartphones, and even iPhones, but it's not perfect. However, as the Galaxy Watch isn't as comfortable to wear as the Apple Watch, and its app and accessory ecosystem pales in comparison, can't get to the shops but don't want to miss out on the latest issue of the UK's best-selling gadget magazine. When you subscribe today, you'll get save 35% on the cover price. You will get every issue of T3 magazine delivered direct to your door. And get this great looking native union charging station completely free. T3 brings you the tech never knew you needed to know about. We find the latest gadgets that could change your life. And our expert reviewers cut out all the junk that gets released so you're only reading about technology that's worth your time. Don't miss our special deal today for just £42 for one year to get your free USB charger station worth £69.95. You deal. Fossil is now on its fourth generation of smartwatches, with the company learning from and improving each new iteration. As a result the Fossil Sport is probably the best Wear OS smartwatch available to buy today. It's a premium smartwatch which features GPS, a lightweight design, and the Snapdragon Wear 3100 chip inside, which offers a greatly improved experience over older smartwatches. As it runs Google's Wear OS, there are a plethora of apps and watch faces to choose from. So it's better than the Samsung smartwatches in that respect. You can expect around two days of battery life. And, while the Sport doesn't feature any unique features, it is still a very capable, wearable, smartwatch. Tag's latest attempt at a smartwatch, the Tag Heuer Connected, is a handsome-looking wearable, mimicking a traditional mechanical watch, with its fully circular display and sporty-looking case. The new model improved on previous generations with enhanced sports tracking, using GPS and a built-in heart rate sensor. The Connected is undeniably a class above its Android Wear siblings, and aesthetically preferable to the most expensive Apple Watch variants which are the only rivals in the luxe smartwatch market. It feels more watch-like than any other smartwatch we've tested. 2. If you're looking for the most premium smartwatch look no further than the Tag Connected. If you really like watches and you really like tech, it's the only game in town outside of the Apple Watch. If you're looking for something a little smaller, then try the Skagen Falster 2 smartwatch. It's probably one of the best all-around Wearos smartwatches you can buy. Not many Android smartwatches can be described as elegant, but Skagen is a Danish brand known for creating simple, timeless timepieces. The Falster 3, just like a few other smartwatches on this list, is powered by Google's Wearos, which includes Google Assistant, smartphone notifications, activity tracking, world time, weather and more. A battery-efficient dial design provides up to 24 hours of use on a single charge and interchangeable straps allow you to customize your look. We love the simple watch face designs which come pre-installed, and each watch comes with an inductive magnetic charger. The Moto 360 was, at one time, one of the hottest smartwatches around, long before Apple announced the Apple Watch. Those taken in by the nostalgia of the name and shape will feel right at home. The iconic design has been updated with more accurate sensors and improved software. Courtesy faux Google, the design, while bold, isn't big and bulky, with the slick stainless steel and choice of colors leaves the user looking and feeling like they're wearing a mechanical timepiece. The Huawei Watch GT2 is different to every other smartwatch on this list, it's a mix between a smartwatch and a fitness tracker. It looks like a smartwatch, and it has a great, high-resolution screen. It can even run basic system apps, like a calendar, and notify you about calls and messages. It can't run third-party apps. However, and you can't personalize the watch faces, although there are a selection to choose from. Its main focus is on fitness tracking, with the Watch GT2 keeping tabs on your lifestyle and exercises. It has a heart rate sensor and GPS. Of course, without the integration of Strava or other fitness apps. This is more likely to appeal to fitness novices rather than road warriors. What's most impressive is that the battery life lasts around two weeks. Meaning, theoretically, you'll only have to charge it 27 times a year. The Huawei Watch GT2 is a weird sell. But if basic fitness tracking, notifications, and a long battery life are key, 
then this could be the smartwatch for you. This is the first generation of the Samsung Galaxy Watch and, while it's not the latest and greatest from Samsung, it's still an excellent smartwatch from the money. You get a similar, sleek design, and excellent software, but you don't have the ability to take ECG readings not exactly a deal breaker. Most importantly of all, it's much more affordable than the Galaxy Watch Active 2. So this is an excellent bargain. Money can't quite stretch to the Apple Watch Series 4. The Apple Watch Series 3 is still a good option. And now it's more affordable than ever. The Apple Watch Series 3 introduced a cellular connecting. Meaning you can continue to receive phone calls and notifications away from your iPhone. It also runs the latest software with all the latest features. It just misses the more futuristic design of the newer Series 4. Watch 2 has a bright screen and everything runs smoothly and speedily. It's incredibly comfortable and the look is, if not great, then at least acceptable. It's unfortunate that Huawei hasn't included any rotary controls on this. Especially as the bezel is a big old thing and as such probably quite easy to grip and twist. Despite that, it's a very competent Android Wear 2 watch. What's more interesting, however, is the concentration on fitness while it features all of the necessary senses to track running, cycling and swimming. Our initial testing has revealed the Huawei watch isn't the stellar performer we hoped it would be. Which is a shame, because emphasizing the fitness element was exactly the right thing for Huawei to do. And hopefully the company can improve its fitness tracking software updates. One final note we'll say about the watch too. Something we're having trouble putting our fingers on. While the screen is small, the UI cramped, and the fitness tracking poor, we really enjoy wearing the Huawei Watch 2. It's incredibly comfortable, and just has a certain wearability factor that makes us keep coming back to it. The Casio Pro Trek Smart WSD F21HR is a rugged action smartwatch, and we really like it. The durable casing can take a bashing. While the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor keeps things ticking inside, it runs Android Wear, but also comes with some useful pre installed apps which track your hikes and other outdoor activities. It's water resistant to 580M, roughly 50 meters. And best of all, it comes in some bright colorways. If you're interested in wearing a smartwatch but don't want to spend £200 plus on a top of the range device, then the TicWatch C2 from Mobboy could be for you. It does everything you'd expect of a Wearos smartwatch, including heart rate tracking, GPS, and Google Pay, but costs significantly less. Text source t3.com.